Hey friends, thanks again for tuning in to Light Metaphors. I want to welcome you uh, and to this uh, next uh, session on uh, understanding Revelation, what re on the topic of Revelation, what it is and, and how to judge Revelation. You know, we are a people that, again, want to uh, be uh, those that uh, have uh, the revelation of God made known to us. We want to be people that uh, receive revelation, experiential knowledge, if you will. Uh, we want to be a people who know uh, by revelation, not just have an intellectual ascent of something, but literally have the Spirit of God take from what is His and make it known to us. Literally have the Spirit of God unveil uh, the Scripture to us to take that which is hidden and make it known to us, that which is concealed and bring it out into the open. This is the mysteries of God, the mysteries of the kingdom. God wants to, them to no longer just be mysteries to us, but they are to be known and, and, and brought out into the open. Daniel 2.22, he says, He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with Him. See, God wants to, to reveal those deep and hidden things to us. He wants us to to, uh, know those things. He wants to have a, 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 us to experience a dawning of the day, uh, that which comes from the rising of the morning star in our hearts. And, and, and so that we begin to see we have light uh, and begin to see our eyes become brightened as uh, I've shared in uh, past messages about Jonathan taking his staff and sticking it into the honeycomb and, and dipping in it in his mouth, tasting of it. And it says his eyes became brightened. Well, that his eyes became brightened. Well, that's like a symbolic uh, picture of re revelation. Honey, uh, revelation is like honey and it brightens the mind. In other words, the light rises within and revelation dawns upon us and we begin to see and perceive something that we did not see, perceive, or know in, in past times, but it was made known to us by revelation. So, um, you know, God is uh, desiring to reveal that to us. God is desiring to, uh, for us to come closer so that He can open up those things to us. And man, it's an incredible blessing uh, for God to reveal His secrets to you and to I. These are secrets. And, and as Paul said, the mystery made known to me by revelation, which I, he did not receive by, uh, by men, or was he taught it, but he received it by revelation. As Jesus said to Peter, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father which is in heaven. Man, what a blessing is that. That's an incredible blessing. So judging revelation when it comes to us, and I've shared, I shared in the last time, revelation can come to us in a dream, in a vision of the night, in deep sleep, in, in an encounter with God. It can come as we're reading the scripture. God can take from what it is, unveil it, make it known to us as we're listening to the scriptures, rereading and rereading it. God can open up our minds to understand it. And so when it comes to us, it produces things. And the first thing I want to uh, uh, bring out about that is that revelation will always uh, reveal or have some aspect of the fruit of the Spirit. You know, the fruit of the Spirit, uh, it will reveal, it will, it, when it comes to us, it will produce the fruit or bring forth the fruit of the Spirit. Well, one of those things is peace. And peace is an incredible thing. Like I've shared in the past, like John Paul Jackson has said, peace is the potting soil for revelation. So when we receive that which God gives us, it brings peace and peace will beget more revelation, if you will. It's the potting soil for more revelation. And so God's word uh, brings uh, grace and peace is added to us through the knowledge of God. And as we gain the knowledge of God, it will begin to gain, will gain grace and peace. And as we gain grace and peace, it will prepare us, open our hearts for a more revelation to flow. So revelation will bring peace to us. It will, it will bring a sense of uh, an awareness that God loves you. You know, you wake up, you have a spiritual encounter, a revelation of some revelation of God, and you know you're loved more. You have a sense of strengthening. It will bring a strengthening to you. You know, the Word of God adds strength. Uh, you are strong, uh, John wrote, and the Word of God abides in you, and you have overcome the evil one. You know, the strength of God is imparted by revelation. You know, He strengthens you. Uh, one of the... Um, uh, one of the word, Hebrew words, uh, the word in uh, Hebrew word for dream is tana, uh, uh, tied, uh, connected to uh, the, the word for to strengthen. So when a dream, which is a revelation made known to you, um, comes, it, it also brings a strengthening. Again, that's one of the fruits to discern, to judge revelation. It strengthens you. 
you know, the enemy is not going to strengthen you. He's going to uh, cause you to feel condemned and put you down. He's not going to uh, um, uh, encourage you. So the, the word, uh, when the revelation is revealed to us, it brings the fruit of the Spirit. There's a sense of peace. There's a, the love. There's a strengthening. You know, it produces the fruit of the Spirit inside of you. It bears the, it carries the fruit of the Spirit. Another thing is that we, we need to understand is when we receive revelation, it will uh, be in accordance with the Word of God. Uh, you know, it will not contradict the Word of God. It will uh, not contradict the character and the heart of God. These things, when they come to us, it won't go against the Scripture. You know, you won't have some uh, way out uh, 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 hidden mystery or something that's going to come to you, but then you read in the scripture, it, it contradicts scripture or it contradicts the character and heart of God. You know, if it produces a fruit in you of pride or something, you obviously would, uh, you should understand that that's the fruit that's not of the Spirit of God. Then you can judge it. Does it lift up Jesus Christ? Is it lifting you up? Is it causing you to become uh, an, uh, 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 like a un unique or elite person? You know, groups that have uh, such a hidden mystery and message that only a certain amount of people can uh, have it or certain people have it. That's a, uh, the, the fruit of elitism. And it's that revelation is not of the Lord. That's how you can judge it as well. It's, it, it produces a fruit of elitism or uh, pride or, or um, some elite uh, hidden message only for the elite. That's not what the revelation of God brings forth. God's revelation is, is to be revealed uh, to, to us so that we can know Him better and, and uh, share out of those experiences that will cause a fruit and desire, a hunger for others to want to know God better too. So He wants to give us revelation that will cause us to hunger and thirst for Him to have a greater uh, a desire and a longing for Him. And the Spirit, the anointing within us that teaches us, gives us revelation and understanding. He does it, and, and the byproduct of it is so that we would uh, want to know Jesus better, that we would want to go deeper in Him, to abide in Him, if you will, to come into a place of union and abiding in Jesus. He wants us to abide in Him. He wants to pull us into that abiding union. So that's a, that's a fruit of true revelation. And the Spirit, the anointing that abides in you and I is true and not counterfeit. It doesn't draw someone to uh, uh, yourself. In other words, it doesn't draw people to look to this figure and put them on a pedestal. And, 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 uh, but rather, instead, it draws you uh, into um, a deeper relationship and hunger and thirst for Him. Jesus Christ because he is within you he is within me he is the revealer of all hidden things and mysteries that are made known to mankind he is the one it's all about him he is the centrality if you will he is the hub and out of him all the spokes of light come into our hearts by revelation and he opens up our minds so that we may understand him in the day dawns within us through the prophetic utterances of revelation that come to you and I in a personal, through our personal relationship with Jesus Christ. And He wants to release this spirit of revelation on us. And He wants us to be able to uh, know what is from Him and what is not from Him. You know, to know and to be able to judge and discern revelation. And so, again, discerning and judging revelation, does it uh, agree with the Word of God? Is, does it contradict the Word of God? Does it, is it, contra does it contradict the character of God? Does it produce... The, the fruit of pride in you, the fruit of elitism, the fruit of, of uh, fear, the fruit of condemnation. Uh, you know, all these things uh, are, are contrary to the Word of God. And when God speaks, He brings encouragement. He brings edification. When revelation from God comes, it brings encouragement. It br brings edification. It brings comfort. It, 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 you know, it brings a strengthening to you and I. Uh, and it will reveal, it will at times bring an exposure only to bring the fruit of repentance. And, and not, a, not out of condemnation, but a quick, sharp piercing of the Word of God that judges the thoughts and intents of the heart. See, God's Word is sharper than any two-edged sword. When revelation comes, it's sharper than any two-edged sword. It pierces even to the division of the soul and of the spirit and of the joints and of the marrow. And God wants His Word, His light, to 
pierce up inside of us in through through the heart into our hearts the receiver and transmitter of spiritual thought that we might come into a place where the entrance of his word gives light of his revelation gives light the, the entrance of his word gives light it will give us understanding the simple and all of us are, are um, in the same place of uh, uh, able to receive that revelation no one is uh, more uh, uh, a privilege than the other person but Christ has uh, put his spirit into us all and we may all come to know him it says in the world uh, and it says in the word that uh, that uh, I would that all Moses says he would that all God's people were prophets in other words he had a heart that he wanted everyone to hear just as a prophet hears he wanted everyone to hear and in the New Testament we understand that uh, his sheep know his voice that's us we all are able to receive revelation and and we all should walk in that progressive place of knowing God by revelation a, a progressive revealing of the things of the Spirit of God the revelation of God to us and and understand that the, when it comes to us, it produces these things. It's not contradicting to His character. It produces the fruit of, of the Spirit. It brings forth the fruit of the Spirit. It, it, it uh, uh, reveals the heart of God, the character of God. The, it does not contradict His Word. And these are the things we, we need to uh, have an understanding of to discern and to judge revelation. You know, it will produce something in you when it comes. And we need to recognize what, uh, what it produces uh, so that we can discern uh, whether it's of God and, uh, or not of God. Even in the realm of dreams, you know, dreams can come to us and they produce a fruit. They bring something in our lives and there are dark dreams that produce a, a bad fruit. And there are dreams that are from God that produce such an encouragement and hope. And uh, that's why Paul said in Ephesians 1.17 to the Ephesian sh church that, the, the, they would, that God the Father would grant to them the spirit of wisdom and revelation. That they would know Him better. Does the fruit of revelation cause you to want to know Jesus better? Does the fruit that comes uh, as a result of your revelation produce a hunger and a thirst to know Him better, to abide in Him, to come into a deeper union? See, Paul prayed that this spirit of... Paul prayed that the spirit of revelation would, uh, wisdom and revelation would come into the lives of believers so that they would know Jesus better. That they would know the hope to which he has called them. See, these things, revelation will cause us to know him better, to cause us to want to know him better, to cause us to hunger to know him better. It would also produce a hope within us. If the revelation that we receive, we judge it be, uh, and it does not bring a hope to us, then it's not from the Lord. That's another way you can discern and judge revelation. Does it produce hope in, in a person? Does it bring forth the hope? Or does it crush them and give them no hope? Does it uh, you know, make them feel that they're hopeless in life? And, and this is a, that, that is the fruit of, of, uh, of that which is not of God. For God will produce the fruit of hope when true revelation comes. And God wants us to walk into that, the hope to which He's called us. And understand and know the glorious riches of His inheritance in the saints. That's you and I. So judging revelation, friends, that's something we need to do as we grow in the Spirit. In, the, in our relationship with Jesus, we grow in the things of the Spirit because the revelation comes from the Spirit of God. You know, as Paul said, uh, and Jesus said, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father which is in heaven. Um, uh, Paul said, uh, the mystery made known to me by revelation, the gospel made known to him, which he did not receive uh, from a man, nor was he taught it from man, but he received it by revelation uh, through Jesus Christ. You know, these are the things that our, God wants us to uh, walk in, uh, revelation, um, and, and know him, and, and not be sidetracked into other things that don't bring us into a place of hunger and thirst and intimacy for him. It's all about pressing in, knowing Him better. It's all about knowing Him better, becoming more and more uh, uh, in union with Him in our daily lives. So God bless you, friends. Thank you again for checking out Light Metaphors. And my prayer is that God the Father would grant to you 
His heart's desire is to grant to you and I the, a spirit of wisdom and revelation that we might know Him better. Gnosko, it's the Hebrew word, uh, 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 it's the Greek word gnosko, it's the Greek word in yada, it's the Hebrew word for knowing. It speaks of a deep, intimate knowledge, experiential knowledge uh, between you and God, like a man knows his woman. That level of revelation that God re will make, uh, cause you to enter into that place of knowing Him experiential, experientially. May the Lord bless you and bring you into this place. God bless you, friends. Thanks for checking out Light Metaphors and hit that uh, subscribe button if you haven't. Don't forget to turn on the, your ringer as well and as well as hit that like button. God bless you. We'll see you again. May the Lord uh, shine upon you and may you radiate His face and His love. Blessings.